Okay, in this video I want to talk about something that's a little bit more complicated, but still fairly basic really, namely arrays. Now arrays are something that you're going to use no matter what programming language you use. It's a very basic thing, sort of common to all programming languages. An array is very much like a variable. Remember variables are basically boxes that you can put stuff in. Well arrays are basically boxes with lots of compartments. So a variable, you can put one thing in it. An array, you can put many things in it, as many as you want. And then you can call out the individual things from the array. So this is very, very useful. And you actually will use arrays quite a bit in sort of more advanced web development things. Like if you're building a shopping cart or something like that, you'll probably use arrays a lot. If you're building a user management system where people can log into your website and you want to keep track of their information, you'll use arrays for things like that and other things like that. So it's definitely something that's useful to learn. It's going to save you a lot of time. Like I said, a little bit more complicated, but not too bad. And we're going to talk about it right now. With PHP, there are several different types of arrays that you can use. There are ones called numeric arrays, there are associative arrays, and there are also multi-dimensional arrays. Now multi-dimensional arrays are a little bit more complicated. They are arrays made up of other variables and different dimensions and things, and they can be a little, more, a little bit more tricky. So I'm not going to talk about those right now. We might talk about that later. You can look up multi-dimensional arrays if you want. We're going to focus mostly on numeric arrays and associative arrays. Now, numeric arrays are probably the most common. They're the ones you're going to see a lot. And before I talk about them, I should say that arrays are basically made up of two parts, a key and a value. And the reason why that's true is because you're putting lots of different things into your array. You need to be able to find the thing that you want. So each thing you put in has a value, and then it also has a key, and you use the key to sort of look up the thing, right? So this will be become obvious once we start messing around with these. But just remember, key, value. So let's start out with numeric arrays, and let's just go ahead and erase the stuff from our last lesson here. And to create an array, you just name it, just like a variable. And um, let's just call this my var, my variable. Again, a horrible name, but once we start building stuff, we'll be able to use real variable names because the thing we're, we're building will lend itself to naming. But to create a, uh, an array, you name it, and then you go array, and then these guys. And now we can put a semicolon at the end. Now this is our array, everything that's between these bracket things here. So let's say, I don't know, let's use colors blue and then comma red comma oops, green comma purple, whatever. So now we have an array called my var and inside that array we've assigned blue, red, green, and purple, right? So to use this thing, we need to echo my var. Well, first let's, oops, underscore. Let's do this and just see what happens. We save this, go back to our site. It just says array. So that's not what you want. So we actually have to designate what we want to pull out of the variable using a key. And in this case, this is a numeric array. In fact, let's type numeric array example use our comment so we want to pull out something specific from this and like I said these are numeric arrays so each one of these has a key value that's a number and arrays start at zero so this blue is zero red is one green is two purple is three so if we want to pull out green we would echo my var and then see here we have these straight bracket things and green is zero one two so if we save this hit reload it should say green yep likewise if we change this to zero remember arrays start at zero it should echo out blue hit reload and blue so that's a numeric array pretty simple pretty straightforward later on when we get into loops when i teach you how to use a loop which should be coming up very shortly, maybe in the next video, we can loop through the array and have it print out every item in the array, 
or we can loop through and have it print out the first and the last. We can have it loop through and print out every other one. You know, there's all kinds of things we can do. Uh, whatever, you, however you need to access this information, there's lots of different ways to do it. Now let's do associative array examples. And associative array, or associative arrays are just like numeric arrays, but instead of numbering these, we're going to give them an actual value, right? And we create these a little bit differently. So to create an associative array, we go my var, and you can name that anything you want. And then we assign right away the key, key. And we're going to call this blue. And then for the next value we want to put into our variable or our array, we go my var key one equals red. And we can do this for each of these. Key two, oops, key three. Green, purple. Okay. So instead of giving these numbers, we're giving the key, we're giving it an actual name. So then later on, if we want to call one of these, we would echo out my var key two. And in this case, key two is green. So let's save this and hit reload. We should see green. So this might seem a little weird, right? Why, what's going on here? Well, actually let's comment out that. Or let's just delete that. That's our old numeric array. Make sure we're still good here. Okay, so this might not make a whole lot of sense. So let's do a, a sort of a better example. And let's say we're creating a user management system. So actually let's just start completely over here. And let's create a new array, let's call it ages. And the first key, we're gonna call James. And we're gonna make him 32 years old. So then, we'll go Scott, we'll call him 30. Nancy is 29, and Bob is 42, right? So these might be members of our, our website, users that we're keeping track of. This might be customers, we wanna keep track of their names, whatever. So to call this, we would just echo out ages, and let's say we want to know how old is Scott. Just type in Scott, because that's the key. Save it, and it should say 30, because Scott is 30. So this seems maybe a little bit more clunky than the numeric array, because remember the numeric array we just talked about was just one line. So it really sort of depends on the data you're working with, right? We've done ages here. This might be an addre address, you know, 385 East Maple Street, right? And we might, we might call this addresses. So then later on, if we wanted to call this, we would call addresses. We'd say, what is James' address? Well, James' address is 385 East Maple Street. So you can sort of start to visualize how we might use these for a shopping cart, for a user management system, other things like that that you might you might see on a website. Right now, it's just a good idea to sort of understand that arrays exist. They're basically variables with lots of different little compartments in them that you can stick information and then you can pull that information out later on. As we learn more advanced PHP type things, you'll be able to see and we'll actually use arrays more in more complicated ways. It'll make a lot more sense and you'll see, oh wow, these are great. You know, we, we really use these just all the time for all kinds of different things. So those are arrays, play around with them, remember them, keep them in your mind. Uh, pretty soon we're gonna be using them for other things. Yeah, some people the first time around 
have a little bit of a, a hard time wrapping their brains around arrays because it's a box full of other boxes and it's you know it's it, it's kind of tricky but it's really not that bad I think you can see and, and even the numeric arrays which I think are the, the more popular ones they're, they're pretty easy to use we'll see that as we go along so that's all for this video and if you want to get my entire PHP course absolutely free head over to codemy.com slash free PHP that's codemy.com slash free PHP